everyone out there, Bernie Tully, Pittsburgh attorney. Welcome to our Facebook group page, which is growing every day on uh, primarily dealing with death cases, uh, surgery cases, traumatic injury cases, traumatic brain injury uh, type of uh, situations. And the whole goal of this group, which is different and new and, and exciting, is that it's just to provide you with information. And you can use the information as you best uh, feel fit or feel uh, it would be of value to you. And in, in that light, today I want to talk to you about if you're making a claim against the bar. And the idea would be, of course, that the uh, person who was overserved in a bar in Pennsylvania then got in their car and tragically killed someone, which happens all too often. We have many cases like that over the years. We've had about eight or nine of them, quite honestly, or seriously injures another person because they were intoxicated and weren't capable of safe driving. You can pursue a claim against the bar uh, for over-serving an individual. Under the law, it's called a uh, Dram Shop Act, but it's just legalese that you're making a claim against the bar for under those circumstances. So what's the one key you need in order to successfully win a case against the bar in Pennsylvania? You must show that the person who got in their car and was drunk and hurt someone seriously was visibly intoxicated when they were in the bar and that they were still served. If you can do that, you're going to win your case. And oftentimes the bars uh, carry over a million dollars in coverage. So there's the potential there for a huge recovery for you. Um, but you must show that the person was visibly intoxicated. And how do you do that? You have to have witnesses people that were in that bar. And the best practical advice I can give you is you need to get your attorney, whoever it is, to have their investigator immediately get out to the, the bar and get the names of witnesses, people that were in there that night, and get their feel for what they remember about this incident. Was the person staggering when they went to, their ba to the bathroom? Did they have slurred speech? Did they have, um, uh, their heads were weaving back and forth at various times? Were they loud? Were they starting to fight? Something to show the telltale signs um, that the person uh, may have been intoxicated and still was served. Once you get to that level, once you can show that, you're going to win your case because the, the insurance company is not going to want to fight a case like this. They're going to want to open up their, their checkbook and pay out serious money if you can establish that. So our practical advice is have your attorney immediately get their investigator out there to get the names of witnesses. Once you do that, you're in a good position legally. Bernie Tully, hope it helps a little bit. Uh, we welcome ideas. We welcome you to share your experiences, your thoughts, anything at all to get a discussion going uh, in the group that will hopefully help everybody in the group. Hope it helps. Bernie Tully, have a good rest of the day.